I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesOfAccounting.com, Chapter 22, and we're looking at Tools for Enterprise Performance Evaluation. This specific module will give consideration to standard cost, that is, developing and using standard cost. This is a prerequisite to applying variance analysis techniques that we're going to look at in the next module. And so standards are the predetermined expectations of inputs necessary to achieve a unit of output. Furthermore, standard costs provide an assessment of what those inputs should cost. Standards are important in planning and controlling an organization. For example, in a restaurant, management may have standards for how many tables should be bussed by a particular employee or how frequently tables should be turned. These standards give us guideposts or benchmarks against which we can begin to assess performance. When we set standards for an organization, we should ordinarily take into account waste, spoilage, evaporation, human mistakes, the need for rest time, and so forth. The development of standards probably should originate with the personnel who best understand the processes. There may be some give and take in terms of setting those standards, but it needs to be based upon a factual assessment of what's realistically able to be achieved. They may be based on averages. For example, we might take total estimated cost divided by total estimated of units of output to find the standard cost per unit. There are different schools of thoughts about how standards should be set. One idea is that standards should be achievable. Achievable standards are realistically within reach. They take into account normal spoilage and inefficiency. They provide clear metrics for evaluation. And they might reduce frustration and discouragement associated with less attainable goals. However, some businesses may decide to opt for ideal standards that can never be reached. They represent what would result in a state of perfection without error, without fatigue, without any spoiled goods. However, employees may come to see these standards as meaningless. While they're designed to encourage employees to constantly strive to hit lofty goals, they can also be accompanied by a give up mentality. There's no way to hit the goals. The goals can become meaningless. So there's downsides to standards. If employees are encouraged to work fast, quality can suffer. Standards for quality, therefore, also need to be established. Sometimes when an employee becomes really seasoned, good at their job, they may become so skilled that they easily meet their output goals. This group of employees may need to be subjected to a higher level of standards, in other words, to match their, their built-in skill set that they've accumulated with passage of time. So there's a lot to take into account in setting standard costs, standard outputs. Once those standards are agreed upon, however, they become the benchmark for variance analysis that we're going to be looking at in the next two modules.